Hi guys, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I thought I would show you an alternative to Tyvek envelopes if you cannot get your hands on Tyvek envelopes. I'm in the process of making a mini album right now, so I thought I would pop on and show you quickly what you can use if you cannot get a hold of these envelopes. So the Tyvek goes underneath your chipboard pieces and it runs along the spine of your album where you open and close your album a lot. And that's gonna help with the stability of your paper not ripping because it's right there in those creases. And this is not necessary, you don't have to use this, but it really does help in the strength of your album. So I just cut out a few pieces here to show you. Here's some sample pieces. You can purchase these from the office supply store. I'm using scrap pieces that my sister saves from me from her work and they're extremely durable. If you purchase them from the office supply store, they're not gonna have the writing on them. They're gonna be completely white, but not everybody can get their hands on them. So I'm gonna get talk to you about some alternatives, but here I wanna show you quickly because I already started to put the album together. It is the same height, you wanna cut it to the same height as your chipboard pieces. Mine is eight and a quarter tall, so I cut mine to a little bit less, to about eight and an eighth. And you wanna make it a couple inches larger than your spine piece. Mine is about three inches larger than my spine piece. So my spine piece is two and a half, and I cut this to almost five inches, just again for demonstration purpose for the video today. So it's not perfect, but you do want it to overlap where your front and back cover lie. So if this was my my cardstock piece, I'm gonna lay down my Tyvek on my cardstock. I'm gonna lay my spine piece on top using double-sided tape, and you do want it the same height. I just cut this quickly for demonstration. You want it the same height as your chipboard, and then you're going to lay your front and back cover, of course, leaving a space in between. So when you're opening and closing your album, it's not going to crack your your cards or um, yeah, your cardstock. If you are not familiar with making mini albums, I do have a very detailed mini album tutorial. I will put in the description box. And once you follow that, all of this will make more sense. But again, I just wanted to show you, you lay down your Tyvek envelope, your spine piece on top, and then your front and back cover. And you wanna make sure it's adhered very well. And by doing so, it'll, it'll cover right on that spine where it bends a lot and gets a lot of use. And that's right on that edge there. So if you cannot get your hands on this material, some alternatives is, this is a tote bag that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, and they have quite a few to choose from. And this material is thin enough that if you cut it out and use it in your mini album, this will help with the durability. I purposely chose a lighter color. They came in like red, dark blue, um, different color navies. I chose a lighter uh, material just to help hide under the cardstock. I don't know if this would work real well if you were making a white album, unless you were completely covering it in pattern paper, but underneath a craft colored album like this one or a black one, I think it would work well. And once cut apart, you'll see that you can get quite a few pieces out of it and it is very durable. So this is a great alternative. It would give you um, a lot of pieces for only a dollar. Just cut it down to the size that you need and adhere it down very well. You wanna make sure you're using a very strong glue or strong adhesive. I like using a double-sided tape and you won't be able to tear that. Another alternative is this piece cut from a dog food bag. And I'm gonna give you an up-close look. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. The way it is woven in there, this is, so strong. You cannot tear this. It is just like the Tyvek material in the fact that it cannot be torn. It is very strong and it's also very thin. And I cut this from a large bag. You can get lots of pieces from one bag. So this would be a good alternative. Like I said, I could not rip it if I tried. So I hope that these give you some ideas if you can't get your hands on the Tyvek. Check out my mini album tutorial if you want to learn how to make a mini album. I'll put that in the description box. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Thanks so much for stopping by and have a great day.